Hi everyone, this is Patina. Today is Friday, January the 27th, 2012. Alright, so here is part two of my IBM 5150 video thingies that I'm making. <laughs> I'm all proud of my 5150 uh, setup. So anyway, it took me a couple years to get it, but I got it. Alright, so what I want to show you today is I want to show you how this actual thing boots up and uh, for you young uh, people out there, this is how we used to play computers when they first came out. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to show you that I have DOS, DOS 1.0 and let me actually just get this camera over here and I actually have the original version, it's an actual official IBM DOS 1.1 did I say 1.0? It's 1.1 alright, so anyway, let me put the camera back there and you can see that it's in one of the drives uh, and like I said on the uh, first video that I made uh, these computers do not have a hard drive, so what we, what we have to do is we have to operate the system, the, the disk operating system from the floppy, and luckily I've got another drive here so we can play with that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the DOS 1.1 in the floppy drive, turn the power on over here, and while this is booting up, we also have to remember that back in the old days, RAM was volatile, so every time you turn the computer off, you would lose all the uh, stuff in your, in your RAM. So what most people used to do is they just just leave it on and work with it that way. However, I just uh, leave it off because this is a fun machine. All right, so what it's doing is it's thinking. Oh, there goes the disk drive. It's now loading DOS 1.1. It knows to go to the uh, to the drive to load up DOS through the BIOS, as we all are familiar with. All right, so what it's asking is, it's asking us for the date. What's the new date? Well, this comes up as January 1st, 1980. Well, we'll pretend it's still 1980 and hit enter. And what's the time? And the time is 0, 100 Zulu. All right, so we've got the A prompt. Now we actually have an operating computer. So let me just do a directory. And you can see that there's a couple of commands on there. In fact, I'm going to grab the camera and just get a little bit closer so that you can see what's on DOS 1.1. And there you go. There's DOS 1.1. And if you really look closely, the first bunch of files.com are actually part of the disk or the disk operating system 1.1. Um, the stuff kind of at the on the third line there where you see ART.bas, those are all basic programs. Uh, they come loaded with uh, DOS 1.1. And uh, the next one is samples, mortgage. I don't know if a lot of you old timers are <clears throat> remember the uh, the mortgage program. That was the big excitement back then, where you would load up Basic and you would run the mortgage program, and they give you your amortization. Well, let me tell you, that was pretty fancy back then. So all these other programs here are just programs within Basic. So uh, the DOS 1.1 actually has a Basic. Um, editor and we can actually run those programs but there's really not a lot uh, going on in terms of commands that uh, you could do with DOS 1.1 uh, but enough to to get us through so what else am I going to show you I guess that's all I'm really going to show you although no what we can do is I'll show you one of those programs uh, what I'll do is I'll load basic uh, advanced basic advanced so all I have to do is type in basic a And basic A will load, and we get the prompt at the top. It says OK, and it says IBM personal computer, and all the rest of it. I got 61,066 bytes free. That's quite a bit, isn't it? Anyway, so what I'm going to do, <clears throat> there's some commands at the bottom here uh, for basic uh, advanced. What we're going to do is we're going to load the program. So I just have to type in load, load. Double colon, and what was a program? <clears throat> well, let's pro let's load up the uh, space. There's a space program. Let's see what the heck that's all about. So right now it's loading the program. It's loaded it into Basic, <clears throat> and now what I have to do is I have to run the program. So I'm just going to go hit the or type in run, and uh, see what happens. Okay, whoa, look at the graphics space version 1.1. I don't know who wrote these programs. They obviously came with the disk operating system, so 
<clears throat> who knows, maybe uh, Bill Gates wrote it. I have no idea. Hit the space bar and wow, look at that program. My god, look at the graphics. It's incredible. And in fact, this program is useless because it does nothing. It's not a game. <clears throat> I thought originally that it was a game of some sort, but it's really nothing. It's just showing you the graphics and that's about it. Um, so let's let's get rid of that. All right, that's gone. Okay, and you just can see the prop now is a lot bigger in terms of the font because this is basic. So anyway, I'll just load another program, um, the mortgage program. All right, that's loaded. Now let's run the mortgage program, and there is our mortgage program. All right, so let's just ask a whole bunch of questions. And we're going to run the option two, the mortgage amortization. Number two. Let's say 100000 for our mortgage. Oh, I don't know. Let's say 7%. Number of years, let's say 20. It's calculating. It's thinking. All right. Well, it's going to cost us $775.30 per month. And uh, I guess we could just look at uh, one of the tables. First month to the 12th. Anyway, I guess you get the idea. The whole point is I just wanted to show you that this computer works and the fact that it... can do a few things. I'm just trying to figure out how to get out of this program. Um, uh, how about escape? Oh, there we go. And the sad part is I don't even know how to get out of basic. I forgot the command. So anyway, let's leave the video at that and what we will do is we will show you something else on the next uh, video, part three. This is part two. Alright folks, thanks for watching and uh, take care.